How's it going guys, TCG Tay here bringing you another video But today it's just a talky head video so feel free to mute me in the back But if you want to watch, make sure you hit the like and subscribe down below So it does help out the channel Anyway, topic of conversation today is Chilling Reigns and their quality control of their cards I opened up a whole booster box on Monday on the channel you saw and all the cards were heavily shifted to the right. It's not a massive issue for me because I am a player first before a collector. Don't get me wrong, I like collecting crap as we can see. But this was like some of the worst printing on cards I've seen since I started playing. I must admit I haven't been playing long, I've only been started playing since really darkness ablaze so for me to see cards of this quality i was very shocked uh another thing with the quality it's like the booster boxes um the code cards don't mean shit anymore by the looks of it so you can still get hollow rares in green packs i don't know if this is across the globe or if it's just a uk and europe thing god knows but it's even like um a part of a facebook group i'm in this dude pulled some cards with like what looked like general poop on them and like you could see like a perfect circle where the ink hasn't printed into it. Don't get me wrong, it looked really cool as the card if it was like all like that, but I just don't think Pokemon has really gave a shit about the quality control of this set at all. Because I've seen on Verbank, I've seen everywhere people saying that the quality like of stuff being centered is nowhere near where it should be and my friend getting poop cards that is just like beyond the joke the code cards meaning f all in packs now i don't know what happened there no all backwards like the whole thing is just seemed to be an absolute mess the quality control i feel like has just absolutely gone to hell reasons behind this maybe because they want to pack more products so if you're rushing product out the door, there's going to be more mistakes to like keep up with demands. I I understand that. I really do. But quality should come over numbers. Because even if I wanted to grade them cards, I'm not saying I would. Um, I wouldn't bother because they're guaranteed dates. Straight out of the pack. And the old arts as well. I like guaranteed dates. I have not seen... Nothing where I would ugly say it's higher than a nine. That is absolutely terrible. Like, in general, like, you're pulling cards out of a pack with it ready damaged and poorly printed. It just doesn't look good. I see it as an idea from, like, people who want to go into collecting Pokemon instead of playing the game. You're going to lose that market. I'm not going to complain because that means there's more cards for me to buy to play with, but... I buy singles. It's rare occasions I buy booster boxes just to have fun opening the packs. So, I don't know. But I do believe that Pokemon have really dropped the ball on this one. Like, in general, I just think the set's really cool. The cards in the set are really, really cool. But the quality control has really slipped. I don't know if it's just me who's noticed this or if it's you guys. If you have noticed this, leave it in the comments down below. But I just think all I want to say to end it is Pokemon, do better. If you guys agree with me, leave the comments, hit the subscribe button, hit the like. But for now, I'll catch all you fine ass beautiful people later. Peace out guys. Bye.